more time. This is my long time in Sudo Wasim. We are here to give you guys the breakdown of the Word Pro. This is a new section that we start here at BJJ Library only for you guys. And uh, we're gonna break down most of the tournaments and we're gonna choose some uh, uh, players that uh, achieve success during the tournament. And we're gonna break down the road map to the championship, what techniques they use, what kind of uh, situations they put themselves, how the opponents try to defend, how they counter, and my personal opinion of what they should have done or not as an extra for you guys to enjoy this other vision of the fights. And also would like to, to tell you guys that it's just another vision of the fight, doesn't mean uh, he should be done like this or like that. It's just for we stay connect and see that uh, the tournament is not too different than start training at the academy and the drills is not that much different than what happened in action. But of course, during the tournament, during the pro event, we gotta see that there's a lot of heart involved, there's a lot of uh, training, there's a lot of toughness that uh, add a, a different ingredient for the outcome of the fight. So. Stay with us and enjoy because the breakdown is here to stay. Here with you guys, World Pro Rodolfo Vieira. We're gonna start this section with a fight that there was pure dumbness. You know, I always tell everybody, if you are in the top, you don't know which pass you're gonna try first. One thing you can never, you can never forget, put pressure. Pressure is the name of the game. Pre pressure is what makes the pass open up when the guy has something that uh, is bother you. So in this fight, Rodolfo show the, the perfect amount of pressure, don't give it any chance for the upcoming puzzle. And uh, he had some good setups that we're gonna break now, right now. So to start, they start with the grips, of course. Uh, Rodolfo knows that Panza will pull guard because he doesn't have the judo, judo that requires to stand up with Rodolfo. So Rodolfo made his, his grips and uh, he knew it. He knew right away that uh, Panza would pull in the guard. So what he would do, he would lift his knee and as soon as Panza shut down, he would just move his left leg and would be with the knee in the middle, avoiding uh, the dangerous close guard of Panza. So they would start over here, as soon as Panza could meet, he would put the knee in the middle and block right away. But look, he don't want to stay here, because here this leg is too deep and can generate a lot of angles here. First thing that he does, break the collar, establish position here. Note that a very particular good thing here, when they get in this position, Rodolfo kind of a, he stopped the whole action of the dangerous guard of Panza. Why? Because he let the knee really far in the hand keep pressure the knee, avoid the, the De La Riva hook, avoid this leg to come here and start going deep here, start all the kind of trouble that this leg would go. And in the other leg, a solid hook grip in the end pushing from the outside. So it would be just like this. You see, note that my knee is not commit. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on my knee here. I'm just parrying my knee and keep my stiff arm here in order to prevent him any kind of mobility. So when he start to move, start the action. I just keep moving here in the direction of him until I feel that he don't want this more. He started off kind of don't like this game anymore. That's when I'm gonna start to knee and start to pass to the side. That's when Rodolfo free the leg and we start to dealing with the three quarter guard, okay? So immediately we got here in this position and this is one of the bread and butter that uh, he's been doing this for so long and uh, I love the way that's set up. I love the pass because what's gonna happen now, my head is gonna be in the level of his head and what's gonna happen now, I'm gonna start to stiff my arm here. As soon as I do this, my knee already crossing. My knee's crossing here and as soon as I feel that I get no more angle to cross the knee and he's still with me, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch for this grima. But the problem is, 
he's still fighting me here. There is a fight here, you know? I don't have, he doesn't have the space here to slide the knee. What I recommend here, in this situation over here, go back a little bit and drive the knee towards the leg. In the fight, Rodolfo was too much here over here, putting a lot of pressure. And of course, we only know what's really happened when you write that in the situation. So that's my guess from the outside. It was too tight here. And he tried, tried, tried. And sooner, when he have a space, because Panza has a very good uh, flexibility, he was able to manage to push Rodolfo here and come with the left knee on Rodolfo's ribs and recover the guard. So he was here trying to pass, he pushed, he pushed, he leaned back, boom, and was able to recover again. Recover, but not for much time because we get back here again. But this time, when we went for the same pass, instead of go for here, another very good signature is the patolada that we call, that is when this hand go right away and do it here and sit on my side. What happened now, I get the side of the situation. I'm really deep here and I got a solid control here. Now we're gonna start to operation here and it's uh, also a very good uh, transition that Rodolfo is able to pull up here. Then Panza start to push on the face. As soon as he feel that, he feel that he cannot pull the uh, the, the leg no more, but what? We have right away the Grima switching for the knee cross. So what's gonna happen is gonna be this hand going here and the knee shifting again. Now he get deeper, now he get more control. Now he get way more pressure in the situation. But even though Panza managed to still use this and still create a situation to open a space, what's gonna lead Rodolfo to switch now is straight for the mount. When we switch here, what happened, he's still pushing the leg. What allows Rodolfo to come with the other hand, under, and manage both arms to the situation. Now that I have the mount, I have both arms, it's really hard any kind of uh, recover here because you don't have more the leverage of your elbows and everything is kind of tight. What's gonna end up, Panza, without having many options here, bump over his shoulder and end up happening. End up in the arm bar and in the perfect and clean fight. The biggest details in the situation was first the ability that Rodolfo had to not let uh, Panza work with the hooks so he didn't let them. He didn't have much, he didn't ha have an answer of where to go and where to initiate any kind of action. The three core situation here where is a position that I recommend all you guys to try because the, the clean pass here would be I'm go here, I stretch, I slide, a complete pass. But of course, several is a world class fighters and uh, it's gonna be tough. And uh, he option to go is grim, keep pushing here. He came back, did it again. Pacolab, he get here, he pushed me back. It's grim again. Boom, he start push my knee. Boom, go to the mount. The arm get trapped, the arm get trapped. The bump over there. And up, and the finish. It was a perfect clean fight that we always say when we are able to maneuver a display of techniques like this without suffer any score, any advantage. That's how we call a perfect and clean fight. And hats off Rodolfo because Panza is a upcoming, is a guy that you gotta watch out because uh, he's gonna have uh, a lot of victory in his way and he's just starting. And it's good to have Rodolfo as a teacher. 
Hen, uh, Hen Hancock Bad 